In forests alone, Canada absorbs almost four times the amount of carbon it emits, meaning the other three quarters of our forests are sustaining themselves on carbon being emitted by the rest of the world. The math speaks for itself. Toss in the carbon being sucked in by wetlands and farmland on top of the carbon emissions our forests absorb, and Canada is virtually as green as green can be. Yet our politicians still want to punish us. Cap and trade, carbon taxes, whatever the plan is called, it all boils down to more money out of your pocket and you're being punished for a problem all of us collectively are not responsible for. In Ontario, even the so-called conservatives, led by Patrick Brown, are talking about taxing carbon in some way. Why? Because they're afraid you have religion. When politicians talk about revenue-neutral carbon pricing plans, they mean that they will take the money they make by creating some sort of false market for carbon and turn it back in the form of tax rebates. But there's no way to make it truly revenue-neutral to the average person. It just means the cost of goods will go up. As Bonikowski so effectively demonstrated, Canada is actually a benefit to the planet just by the nature of our geography. Those politicians, of all political stripes, who insist on worshipping at the Church of Green, are pushing their religion on us and making us fill their collection plate. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.